Alright guys, welcome back to The Walking Dead No Man's Land. Um, we've now back to mission 3 of episode 10. This is the level that I'm stuck on uh, currently at the moment. And I've upgraded my uh, team a little bit. So as of now, this is probably my best team. So I'm gonna try to go with this team. In terms of damage and um, defense, this is currently the best I have at my disposal. Last batch, let's take them out. So I've always tried to go um, with the, the left side, so I don't know if I should try to go... to the right side so let's try it Just lead them on a wild goose chase. And slice this guy. There's one walker that's gonna spawn below. It's gonna take this guy out. I'm gonna use um, this guy to open for the first round. Because I can have double attack on my warrior class. really to minimize um, damage okay so I'll be slashing this guy and killing this fatty walker remains a priority Give me a critical hit. Oh boy, this is way overdue. Okay, let's see. Okay, finally dead. One less container to worry about. Okay, so... As you can see, Lewis has taken quite a bit of damage. Now I have to go with um, this team at the top. I will probably just quickly go. Oh, 
I'll probably have to use um, Michelle later. For my team later. Okay, just to ensure that they have no. Okay, so so far so good. I'm gonna just quickly kill this. Okay, walkers on my back. I can go at the moment. I'm gonna use the bonus attack. To get this guy. Free attack. Yep, that will not attract any walkers. Just gonna go as quickly as possible. Oh boy. Someone's gonna get some damage. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so far. Okay, there's one more guy at the bottom. Can you use my free attack? Okay, so this two. Okay, so far so good. I think this turn I may have to use my Michelle to open the gate. Yep, I'll just quickly do it. Okay. So the critical attack. To minimize damage. And the free attack to kill off that. I'm gonna have to kill off the walker so that it minimizes damage even though Michelle is stunned okay, I really have to hope for critical damages
that she thinks so. Okay, dodged, that is good. Because I can now run, make a run for it. Okay, you know what, let me just kill this guy. Yep. Finally, let's go back to camp. Okay, I'll just use a defensive shot. Okay, this is really good news. So far, this is like the best scenario that I've gotten. I'm gonna just slowly move along the top to that blue strip there. Okay, I see some shadows. Two turns to more walkers come. Alright. Okay, I can move along that line. Whoa, level fourteen walkers. Just quickly go for this guy. Yep, I think I can just reach that strip in one more turn. Yep, okay, so this really worked. And I'm safe. Finally, I've completed this. So all I can say is that to complete this one, you really need to kill all the walkers first before you tank one on one with that fatty walker because he'll in inevitably stun you. So having um, characters that can dodge will potentially save your life as shown earlier. Okay, so this is it. Right.